everyone welcome back to a gut feeling my name is Janine and on this channel I talk about everything relating to gut health and yes if you're on this channel I am wearing this dress again <laughs> I'm beginning to realize that I'm always wearing this dress when I make videos I do have other dresses that I wear it's just one of my favorites and I tend to be wearing it different times and just the last couple times been wearing this dress so I apologize I want to do an updated version of my 24-hour yogurt it's been a popular video different people talk about it it's kind of central to my diet and what I use to kind of keep myself healthy keep my probiotic intake up high so there's been different questions people have been asking I thought I would answer in this video also some things that I ran into some problems after I made the last video about 24-hour yogurt so this is gonna be my updated version how to make 24-hour yogurt some of the problems you could run into can you use store-bought milk or should you only use raw milk uh, some of that type of thing and I just bought something and I'm really excited to try it out to make this yogurt recipe into a Greek yogurt. So since last September, which is almost going on a year now, not quite, but um, that's when I pulled out of my last flare. I had a very small flare up this spring, but for the first time ever, I was able to quickly correct it within like a week or two. So that was super exciting. I've said this before, but this is one of the first summers in like three years that I haven't been in a flare and it's a really really hot summer and usually the heat tends to kick things off for me so yeah I'm really excited about that but however one of the downfalls has been you know I lost a fair amount of weight last year and that's usually what happens to people with UC I tended to lose weight a lot slower and so to me it came off slower than it would for most people but since I wanted to lose weight anyway I was kind of happy but when I got well and could start eating food again, it was almost like my body reacted, my mind reacted, I probably ate too much, it just started gaining weight quickly and I gained everything back plus some. So now I'm trying to lose weight again in a healthy way and I'm trying to do a low carb keto style diet, trying to follow a little bit the SCD guidelines, not 100%. I talk about the SCD diet on this channel. Um, that's a healing diet. So a lot of these diets that are low carb, like your keto diet, paleo diets, SCD gaps, they all kind of tend to revolve around decreasing inflammation. So the keto diet tends to kind of fall into this category. There's obviously some things I tend to stay away from because I can't handle them. But for the most part, I'm trying to stay low carb, trying to get some of this weight back off. Now, one of the problems with this is, um, I believe that yogurt and high probiotic foods like kefir yogurt and sauerkraut some of those things I try to consume daily and with yogurt you have to be careful if you're on a low carb diet because um, it's higher in carbs and sugars and can kind of kick you out of that ketosis mode um, I'm kind of doing a sloppy keto but it's been working I've lost a few pounds so I'm hoping it continues so however the, the homemade yogurt that I make the 24-hour yogurt yes it is a very good yogurt to be using on the keto diet since you let it culture for 24 hours it eats most or the majority of the lactose out of the milk and so it eats away at the sugars so it's a, a lower sugar content um, however, when it's still finished, there are some batches that I really struggle with that are more runny than others. And that's one thing I wanted to touch in this video. Um, the last video that I made about the 24-hour yogurt, those batches seem to be coming out thicker. And recently, I've been struggling to get thick batches. So, today I'm going to try to actually strain my yogurt. And I'm going to be showing you a handy-dandy tool I just bought that I think will be easy breezy and can do a whole gallon of milk and strain it. I can put it in the fridge. So, I'll be showing you that. I hope it turns out as thick as the pictures. This is gonna be an experiment, we'll see. So in taking that extra step of straining, that should leave me with a really thick Greek yogurt that is even more low carb, because um, all the whey and the extra runny um, stuff runs out that's left over, and you're just left with the thick, creamy yogurt. I recommend using raw milk. However, I do know that many states do not allow people to buy raw milk. You don't have any sources to purchase it. The question often comes up, can we use regular milk from the store? And the answer is yes. However, if you do use a store-bought milk, it is recommended, I think the SCD diet actually recommends this as well, is that you do heat the milk first to higher temperatures so that you kill any bad bacteria that might be in there. Um, and then you add your yogurt culture and let it start culturing for 24 hours at a low heat. I recommend the Instant Pot. It's an incredible yogurt maker. I believe it's like at 100 or 110 degrees. You wanna make sure your yogurt is culturing at a low temperature 
for a long amount of time and that's going to make it so that the majority of people can actually handle it even people that um, tend to react to dairy I've had people message me and say that they can't handle dairy but it's so soothing to their stomach when they um, eat this and it's so healthy for you because you culture it for so long and it's full of probiotics and it's one of my staples that I try to have every day a shake usually for lunch um, to try to keep that going keep my gut microbiome um, built up and so on so I personally like to use raw milk I have a store right close by especially if you get it from a trusted source that has happy cows out on the pasture that are taken care of so that the whole production process is clean and you're not worried about um, kinds of bad bacteria getting into your milk and so if you have um, a good source for raw milk it's incredibly healthy you have the enzymes in there anyway we won't go into full detail but um, I like to try to keep the probiotics that are within the milk that's why I like to use raw milk and I don't heat the milk first I don't want to kill off the probiotics in the raw milk so when you're using raw milk my suggestion is do not heat it if you're using store-bought milk then it might be a good idea to heat it up first before you go ahead and start culturing your yogurt all right, so here I have my gallon of milk. Um, I like to get A2 milk. This means it's an A2 casein instead of like the, I think it's a B1 that a lot of people can't tolerate. And so this is even um, a better type of milk to have if you react to dairy. When I can, I like to use A2 milk. And here is my Instant Pot. I just dump in my milk. This makes a whole gallon. Now we need to add culture to our milk. And you can just use yogurt. Make sure to get whole plain yogurt. Now this is where it can get tricky depending what type of yogurt you get or which batch you get can affect the type of yogurt um, that you get when you're all done. Sometimes it's runnier, sometimes it's thicker, and sometimes I have batches that just don't taste good at all, like they're real sour. And so it does vary sometimes. Don't lose heart if a batch turns out and it's not real good. Um, but what I do is I put a cup in for a gallon of milk. So if it's a half gallon, do half a cup and so on. And one thing I would recommend, the SCD diet um, specifies you don't want yogurt with pectin in it. And the other thing they recommend is that you don't have yogurt with albifidus in. And I think it's like a type of culture that tends to overrun all the other cultures and multiply too quickly. And that always that isn't always a good thing. So if I can, I try to avoid that. And um, they are in a lot of yogurts, but the Dannon brand usually doesn't have it in. So I tend to go for this one. It seems to be the one that I've had the most success with. You can see right there, it says active yogurt cultures, including L acidophis, whatever that is, but it doesn't say L bifidus. And a lot of yogurts will say that. So I do try to avoid that when possible. Okay, so I have one cup of this yogurt and I know in my previous video, I said you should heat up your milk first and then put this in and dissolve it. Um, that, I don't think that's really a necessary step. Just put it all in and then maybe in an hour, go back and stir it to make sure it dissolves well. But um, it should be fine either way. It's very, very simple, um, very worry-free. You just dump this in and hit the yogurt button and um, your yogurt will be done in 24 hours and then you come back and you don't have to worry about trying to keep temperatures even if you're doing it another way. It's so handy. I'll have links below to the Instant Pot definitely recommend it. All right, so just going to dump this in. Um, on the Instant Pot, I have it set right now to, actually no, I, I don't have it set. So what you can do is you can adjust the time. I think it comes set at like eight hours or something. So I'm going to adjust the time to 24 hours and 30 minutes. The reason I do 30 minutes, I think 30 minutes gives it enough of time to take the cold milk and get it to a warm temperature. And then the rest of the time, the 24 hours, it's actually culturing. So that is it. And it's going to start the countdown. It is so easy, so hassle-free. This Instant Pot has been so amazing with making yogurt. So now in about an hour, I'll just go and stir it just to make sure it's dissolved. And then tomorrow, 24 hours from now, it'll be finished. We are going to try a new product that I bought. 
Can't wait to try it, see if it turns this yogurt into a thick, creamy Greek yogurt. I've already tried straining it through like um, a cheesecloth that didn't work too well, and it's always so messy. And I'm one that the easier and more efficient and the faster things are, the happier I am and the more likely I am to go ahead and continue making that particular food. And so I try to buy things that help me in that process to make life easier and make it more probable that I'll go and do it again. All right, we'll see you guys back tomorrow when the yogurt is finished. And it's 24 hours later, the yogurt is finished. Let's take a peek. Mm -mm -mm. Now this looks like a good batch. Now I'm gonna show you the product that I bought that I'm really excited to try. I have a feeling that it'd be best to cool the yogurt first. And I did read somewhere that if you do that, it tends to result in thicker yogurt and you don't lose quite as much of the yogurt in the way as it's draining. But I don't feel like letting this cool for another day. And I want to go ahead and give it a try, see how this works. Um, so let me just show you what I bought. I'm gonna have links to all this stuff below. One second. All right, so this is a one gallon yogurt strainer. I didn't know I could find something like this. I didn't want to get like the cheesecloth and that type of thing because I just thought, man, it's gonna be unhandy keeping it washed. And when I tried it a little bit, it wasn't working that great. But this I think is going to be super handy for people like me that like things that are efficient and quick and don't require a lot of work and headache. There's a strainer in the middle and you put all your yogurt in here. I sure hope it holds a gallon. It looks a little bit, man, I'm not sure. But this is larger than a gallon, so I hope they know what they're talking about. So, I'm gonna strain it warm, see what happens. This is my first time trying this. And I'll set it in the refrigerator, and we'll be back tomorrow to see how thick this actually turns out. Perfect! Look at that, fits perfect one gallon. All right, look at that. Then we'll just stick the lid on and put it in the refrigerator. All right, so as you can tell, this is a very, very easy recipe. Um, if you do it my way without heating up the milk beforehand, you just dump the milk in, dump the yogurt in. It's not this big process that so many recipes require. Turn on your Instant Pot, forget about it for 24 hours, come back plop it in the strainer, throw that in the fridge, and in another day we have a whole gallon of yogurt. Crossing our fingers, it tastes good, that it's thick and creamy like real Greek yogurt. All right, it's the next day. I have my yogurt finished straining, and you guys wanna see it? I'm super happy with it. This is a finished yogurt, and look at all this whey that strained out of the bottom. It's nice and thick compared to before, and even down here, that is amazing. So I had a really busy morning, didn't get around to this. Um, so it's been straining for, I'm guessing, 18 hours or so. I believe yesterday it was around four in the afternoon that I um, started straining it. And then right now it's like one o'clock, almost one o'clock the next day. So that was a fair amount of time, but you can just strain it however long you wish until it's your desired thickness. But I'm really happy with this. It's gonna make my life so much easier. Now I just need to put it into jars. And I have yogurt, Greek yogurt, nice and thick, and it doesn't have all that whey in it. So it makes it so much better. It's more, it's healthier for you. And it's also creamier, and I think it's not as bitter without the whey in it. So anyway, if you're interested in this, I think it was in the $30 range. Definitely worth its buy. I'll have links below. So out of one gallon of milk, I got two full, pretty much full quarts of Greek yogurt, and there's definitely a little bit left that Xander and I are gonna eat. I have some over in his bowl. Did you find the honey? Um. <laughs> okay. What else would you like in your yogurt? Colostrum. You want colostrum? Okay. Ow. Okay, give me your spoon. My spoon. Uh-huh. Yum. What is it? Colostrum. You like colostrum? Mm. Okay, let's put a little bit in your dish. Mm. Yum, buddy, yum. Is it good? 
You like it? You should mix it a little bit more. No. You like it just like that, huh? Yeah. Pretty good? <laughs> okay. Can you say subscribe? Go on. Thumbs up. <laughs> okay, you enjoy your classroom and yogurt. What did you just tell mom? What do you like? Um, honey in classroom. You do? Do you like the yogurt too? Yeah. That mommy made? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Well, you are making a dent. Good job. Yeah. C-A-W-N-S. That's an L. L? Look, it's a W though. That is a W. Do you know what that is? No, it's a B. A B? Uh-huh. And this a B? 